So if I do that, yeah, I and then do that, note that, and then try and that one. Yep. Have I got this right? No, I've still got music on. Hi, Yolanda. <laughs> it's just us, guys. How is everybody? You all well? Um, how have I got on with my Juki quilting machine? I've got Jasmine here as well. Um, how have I got on with it, Yolanda? I haven't actually. Have I disappeared again? Yeah, I've disappeared. I keep thinking I've got things. Why is it playing from? Oh, it's playing from this, isn't it now? Yeah. So, do you know what I've done? I've lost my um, prim, prim advent calendar. I don't know where is it? it is. Oh, it's there. Shall I open it with you? Yeah, you can do. Hi. Hello. Right. So, yesterday, after yesterday's fiasco, I've just been playing and just working out what I did wrong. Because I keep thinking, I know what I'm doing. Um, and then I realised I don't. <laughs> so, hi, so like Dottie. And hi, Teresa. Teresa. <gasps> Oh, you've kept me warm all afternoon. Oh, where have I put it? You've just taken it off. I've and literally on. just had it on. <laughs> my what neck's been so cozy. Yeah, yeah, maybe upstairs? probably upstairs. Did I get it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know where yours is. Otherwise, I'd wear yours. Um, so it's absolutely freezing in Stockport, and I have been wearing this. Gorgeous cowl scarf that I I had fan mail. Oh, Judith! I don't know if Judith is there. I've had a Christmas card as well. Thank you. It's incredible. Um, hi, Judy. Oh, is it you? Yes, I did. My card arrived today. I was just I was feeling so sad this morning. I had a dream that Pete, my husband, was really really old. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't love me anymore. Oh! No, I was telling you, didn't I? I told Dad. I said I had a dream. He was really, really old. White, long, oh. white hair, white beard. And he just didn't love me anymore. Maybe it's sad. He didn't love you anymore. And he didn't love me anymore. Here, don't sit there. Sit there. Oh! What have I got on my chair? Oh, yeah, I hate that thing. <laughs> <laughs> so this... Did you get my Christmas card? I did today. There it is. What's all this? It's what I'm going to sew today. Oh, I'm going to... I thought, do you know what? I don't get to sew. Um, I don't get to sew. What do you think, everybody? Oh, my God. I love you so much. I know, much. and it's so soft. It feels like the kittens, doesn't it? It like does. They're just giving you a hug And I've got time. to keep it away from the kittens because they love it too. And if they sit in it, um, I'm not allergic to cats. We have four. We have four cats. We so we're none cats. of us. We're not allergic to cats. Um, That's it in sign language, isn't it? Cats. Yeah. Cats. So we have four cats. Four cats. One named B, that's a, a B, and one named Tiger. Name Tiger. Yep. That's Tiger. Thing. But the others don't have animal names, so we don't know Love their names yet. I love it. Mittens. Mittens. Probably work out Probably what mittens. Mittens. Um, How's the baby lock machine? Which one? <laughs> they are gorgeous. I love the baby lock machines. I've not really got Probably to play the with them. One. I went rock climbing today. And after I went rock climbing, um, I was doing other things. Just oh, other so things. busy. I don't get to sew so much. Hoovering, that's what you were Hoovering. doing when I came home. Well, my sewing room has just been abysmal. Jasmine's been doing all sorts, oh. helping me sort things out. Video and sound is perfect. What else have we got? Did you, um, if the do you, UX8 is like your DX4000P VPQ, QVPU. Oh. She will throw you a few. Will cares. she? Oh, tell me more, Yolanda. Because I need, I need to set it up properly. I didn't really get to set it up properly. Which one? That one. Oh, that one. That yeah. huge beast, the one that's over there. Um, how do we do this? Have I messed it up now? I just transitioned to it. There you go. So now they they can see that. So that's the that's this uh, above, um, version of it. So um, that was. And this is one we made earlier. <laughs> that is a bit like, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the signing, thank you. Yes, we've been learning. I'm waiting for my ovation to come back. I've damaged the loopers by not changing the th needles often enough. Uh, oh, really? Is that what happens? You're not fighting with it, are you? Because that's what happens um, with the loopers. 
isn't it? Mm. Like when people bring overlockers to me for repair, um, I usually say, have you been putting things in there that shouldn't be in there? But, um, or is there things in there that shouldn't be in there, like lots of fluff? Oh, are you cleaning your machine? Yeah, you're cleaning it. <laughs> have you been making lots of fluffy snugs? This is naughty inside. I learned that. Um, Jamila's here. Is it Jamila or Jam- Jamila? Jamila. Because you were Jamila. You were supposed to be... Well, I had a list of names and Jamila was one of them. Yeah. I just thought it was... You were a J. Whatever you were going to be, you were going to be a J. She ended up being Yasmin, actually. Yeah. But uh, change it to Jasmine. Shall we open an advent calendar, everybody? I hope sounds okay, because we're not using a microphone. So we're relying on yeah, our technology. I don't technology. know why that's not working. Don't know. Usually it's Wait, when you put shall it in we, the Shall I do the hemline one? Ooh. And you can do the prim one. Yeah, so we swapped today. Her makeup one hasn't arrived. Yeah, today a little box came and that separate lipstick I bought that I thought would come together. Oh, I've got my finger stuck in there. No. So you've got the hemline one for... Jamila. 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 First one, Jamila. 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 <laughs> Jamila. Oh, I can't even. I like that name. I do. I think it's... Oh, it's... A, it? ooh. In fact, my son, after her, was born... Um, He was, he was named Jamal. Which is similar. This has got Thank multiple items. Oh, oh you've got a few things in there. Have you opened number two? Yeah. You sure? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a word. Yeah, it says the word two. Word two. Oh, my gosh. Imagine if it, you get three things on day three. On day four, you're getting 24 thing. I mean, Doubt 24. It. So what have we got in there? So we've got some needles. Should we show the camera? Hand sewing needles. Oh, this now is my I arm do that like, hurts, so I can't oh. really lift it up very much. Sorry. What did you do again? So we've got a mixture of tapestry needles in there. Now I do like the prim needles, but I got myself into um, using the John, I forgot the name. It's a yellow packet. Oh, and it's one of these uh, magnetic I'm gonna have to find pin, if you've we I've seen one of these before actually. So what you do is you get the Did needle. You get that with that, yeah. So like, what you do is you put the needles in here and they're magnetic. No, the needles aren't magnetic. It's magnetic inside. There. Yeah, which means the needles have to. No, 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 no. It's like a lipstick hole. It's like a lipstick case. So, so this will. Oh my gosh! Have you untwisted it? No, untwist I just... it. So it brings a magnet up. You know, just like your lipstick, it brings the bottom of the lipstick up and twists. I don't know, can you see Should that? we do it on the Mac camera? You can do. No, that's not that one. So, press that one there. There we go. Yeah. This is going to look like awkward but angle. I transition. <laughs> I will do. This is a very awkward angle. You ready? <laughs> so, yeah. you can see it. The magnet going shiny. up and down. Shiny, shiny. So, what I'll do is I'll put the needle... Here and see how it, it sticks, and then I can twizzle it down, and it won't fall out. It's really good. It just means it's very that flattering angle. Safely. So if you pop that in your quilting bag, in your sewing bag, uh, for sewing class, you know it keeps all your needles. How many safe? people go to sewing classes and clubs? Do sewing classes? Um, I stopped teaching. Um, well, you did. Yeah, she looked yeah. like she's in pain. <laughs> she didn't do anything. She slept I went, on it. No, I went to the gym. <laughs> and there's a sink order, an assisted pull-up. I would like to do a pull-up this time next Thank year. You. And what they have is a machine where it assists you. And you put your your knees on there and it... And it you know, assist your legs up whilst you do the pulling motion. And I was just I getting a bit too cocky. I thought, yeah. oh, look, I don't really need that much need assistance. So I started, you know, ramping it up so it was so it made it harder for myself. And I just pushed myself too hard in there. Now my arm doesn't work. It doesn't work. And I talked to my personal trainer today. I saw her today and she says... Oh, did you? Nikki? Yeah. And she She's said... Meta. It would take a couple of weeks to get better... I said, oh, I'll just give it three days, my love, and it'll get better. And she goes, oh, it'll take a couple weeks. Mm. Look at that. 
So I'll have to tip it upside down. <gasps> Scandal. Yeah, so if I don't fall out. It's brilliant. I've had one of these for quite a few years, actually. In the States, Teresa, just out of interest, the Bram, uh, the Bram, the brand name is Dritz, D-R-I-T-S-Z, uh, Dritz. So we like we know them as, yeah, so it's the same company as uh, Prim, but they just go by the name Dritz in the US. So you'll see everything that they sell, but you might see them in different colours. And somebody was telling me that the EU regulations are a lot stricter in the UK, in well, in the European Union. So anything that we get into uh, United Kingdom is going to be a lot more. I took them all out. So I've always used Prim. I really recommend Prim and Dritz. Um, but then I watched a tutorial from somebody on Savile Row and he's starting to teach and I, I thought I'd sign up to... Do you remember a few months ago? Dritz and Lee. I've oh. learned how to make a suit. I've got oh, three yeah. boys and a husband and I thought, you know, I really ought to learn how to make proper suits because they're all tall. They've got look, lanky... Yeah, and they're getting lanky arms. They're slim. They, they've got no waist. Yeah. They've got no they've got anything. So they Just need couture a suit and I can't afford oh, to they pay two thousand three. So I thought I'll learn. Anyway, so I thought about going to this chappy. He's absolutely brilliant. Anyway, <laughs> um, John James. He uses John James. He recommends Gutterman silk threads. Does he? Mm. And John James needles. And in your overlocker, he recommends moon threads. That's what he uses. Oh, yeah. We so I thought, yeah. So I thought, we are Savile Row people. Yeah, we are. So uh, if you need a couture <laughs> suit, couture don't suit. come to us. No, it will happen. It will happen. It will it? happen. And you've yes. not done this one? I've not done... Uh, do you think this one's going to come anywhere near? I don't know. We ended up, so we, started, we talked about that prim one for about... Five minutes, and we'll end up lovely. just being like looking at this. I'm one trying now. to find number two. Can you find number two? Can you find number two? Yeah, who are we asking the people? Because I can't see that angle. You can't see. You can't see it on the screen. Did oh, yeah, do? I see it. Though. Right, it's over there. Okay. Look, Jamila says, I'm sat with my cat watching and sharing cheese biscuits. Yes, she eats them. Our cats eat cheese as well. Do you do live most days then? As yesterday was the first one I found. Pins as well? Well, we call them needles oh, well, in I the can't sewing see room. see from that angle. <laughs> we call them oh, needles. needles. Yeah. I mean, needles as well. Why yeah. does that look scuffed? Can you see that? This looks like... <laughs> second hand. Um... Set with your cat eating cheese and biscuits. Your cat eats cheese and biscuits. Well, we, our cat eats cheese, isn't it? Well, Tiger eats cheese and then he'll come in and he'll go... Lul, 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 lul. Honestly, the sound is exactly like that. And then he's lul, sick. Lul, lul, and then he's sick. And it's... So whenever, whenever he... Ululating, it's called. Is that what that... Word? That sound is called ululating. Ululating. Anyway, this is a, a bit disappointing. Um, but... Did we knew it was going to go. We knew we knew it was going to be this. Uh, this one. Anyway, we're going to continue with it. This is the reason I picked this one up this year is because Can it's uh, it? hemline gold. Um, but looking at the back, uh, there's only going to be three hemline gold products in there. So this is something you'd pick up in the market for yeah you know, twenty p. Well, maybe fifty p with the inflation, but. But if you got it, it's still a packet of needles, isn't it? It's still a packet of needles. I'm going to put it back because it's not going to be so nice. Yeah. That looks so funny. It's good job you've got good needles. So, um, so do they do prim in America? Yeah, well, Teresa's just said, is it? We have. Oh, no, no. Someone said, oh, yeah. Teresa also said, I can get prim too, so now I can have everything. So, so if yeah. anybody wants anything shipped to them, just ask Teresa. Teresa's just amazing. Do you have a joke for today? Do you? Um, she, she was pouring What's that wolf one? one. The wolf? Yeah, the, our Alexa keeps telling us one about a wolf. Like, What do you call a deaf wolf? You don't know. As long as it's not chasing you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As long as uh, it can't, it doesn't matter because it can't, yeah, it can't hear you. Oh, right. 
Well, that's that what was, that means. I, I didn't understand it until you read that it. That was a rib tickling tale. Do you want to try again with another one? I do like your other one that you keep using. The beans one. The beans one. No. Did I not say it the other day? Mm. Yeah, I did say it yesterday, the other day. Yesterday. You did. Doesn't yesterday feel like such a so long It ago? feels like such a long time ago. It really does. How is everybody? What have you all been up to? It's been a whole day. Yeah, we're trying to do um, lives every day, aren't we? We will. I think it's really nice to um, have friends. Sewing friends yeah. that we can talk to. <laughs> not convinced. Jasmine's started work again. What do you call 500 penguins in Trafalgar Square? Lost. This is why we're collecting good. the jokes, isn't it? Ta da! Ta da! We need to. Do you um, see these recycled Christmas crackers from last year? Uh, not recycled because they're not using recycled stuff. Reusable, but reusable. But it's all got crackers. squished in the um pet in the box. I'll have to make some more. I think somebody put them away, just shoved them in. So I think I'm gonna have to so press them. Reusable Christmas crackers and reusable um party hats that you yep. can put inside. Yeah. Reusable Everyone's jokes. Everyone's making those this year. <laughs> Party hats. Yeah, those party Everyone's hats. Everyone's copying us. No, they're not copying us. Everybody's just making them. It's really good. Whether they're copying us or not, I don't think that's what we say. We're and reusable influenced. table I don't runners. Think any idea is a new idea, is it? Table runners, yes. <gasps> do you want to see this gorgeous? Do you want to grab that Christmas fabric for me? We're stuck in now. We can't get out. So um, I work in a mill um, and it's a museum. Oh. We can share tales. I think that's really yeah, important. Yeah, so I work in a mill and we make... Um, it's just a museum. It's from the mill. National Trust, yes. Yes, it is. So what happens is I get to make thread. I haven't woven anything yet. Then don't trust me on the weaving machines because it's um, quite an intense job. But um, I'm allowed to make thread, would you believe? The bobbin of thread's there as well. Did, did you see it? No. Hold, hold this for me, my I love. will. So... Do you know what we could do? We just put it on there and then put the overhead camera on. But that would work oh, you can do. Go on then. As you go past, you grab the thread. So we make the thread and then once um, once that's done, we send it down to the weaving room. Um, and it's a museum, so people can come and have a look. Um, if any of you are round and about, there's only one mill museum in the UK. There's one up there with my mouse... Can you see my mouse over there? If you look where I'm pointing. <laughs> I don't know where she's going. Um, don't you think that's pretty? So I've got um, about three metres of this. So I've gone to make table runners, a table runner and mats, placemats. But look at this. This is made on a spinning mule. And if you've been following me on Instagram, <laughs> you can see, you can see, it. we can watch it in a little bit of delay. Yeah. So that thread, it's, it's, I think it's funny because it's, but look at, look at it, it's absolutely falls apart. But then, the quality of the fabric's beautiful. You know, when I wash this, mm. um, the tea towels that I've had, well, they pre-wash it for you, so there's no mm. shrinkage. Oh, that's good. Um, before they print on it and um they uh, so the tea towels that we got when the, uh, the kittens were born yeah i used it to dry them when they came in from the rain so not when they were born obviously because they yeah, are I mean, now nothing you can't do i know do you... look at you you make your own thread your well, own fabric the only reason it wasn't to make the fabric that i was there it was to learn about the machines in january they shut the mill down for a week <gasps> and it's awful because it's our birthday week she yeah, and I same share the same birth, week. So. And they're cleaning the machines. And I said, right, we're not going on holiday or anywhere. Yeah, special. because the plan initially was, oh, let's go on holiday for our birthday this year. No, because we're going to clean machines. I'm going to dismantle these huge machines with a group of people and put them back together after we've cleaned them. And I mean, does that sound... How I mean seriously. Imagine I know giving up excited. a holiday. I well, know. no, I'm not excited. I'm not invited to anything. So, do you want to come and clean machines? No, 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 no. Do you want to? <laughs> you don't want to clean machines. So that's. But it does sound cool. Sorry, I've ruined it. It's all right. It's okay. Yeah. 
it's fa- it's fantastic. So we hand spin, Ooh. and then we uh, machine spin, which is exciting. I know, and then we take it home. So this is this next bit's up to you guys, because um, yesterday I cut out pajama pants because I thought I thought one thing we can do. Um, this winter is do lots of sew alongs or sewing and give you some ideas for gifts because I want to make some gifts. I, I always keep myself so busy, I never make gifts for anyone. So this year, I want to make a gift. Oh, and for me, I already know because I was uh, way sized up, sized up, sized you up. You so I've weight. made um, look at this fabric. I actually bought it for my son and he just looked at it and said, No, thank you. But have a look at that. It's Playstations and games and Pac-Man and all sorts. Anyway, so I've cut out another pair of lounge pants. So the bit that's up to you is, do you want me Do you want me to show you me cutting it out? It's about a 10 minute long video of me cutting it out. But that's all, all the time you need to actually cut. And then it'll yeah. take another 10 minutes to sew. Yeah. So... What do you think? Shall we show mm. it? Do you want to watch it? Let's get three yeses and we'll go for it. But, um, and then I can set up my machine, you see. Um, I've got my 2,500. Should we move the, com- the computer the so they can see? Yeah. Because they can't see this yet, can they? Mm, no. They can only see this one. Yes. So if you turn it around a little bit, let's work yeah, together. We'll work together. So... Ready? We're setting it up. So I've got my fabric here. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> so I have my fabric here, um, which I've cut out. And then... Oh, oh yeah, three, three yeses. yeses. So um, <laughs> I'll give that to this one. And then we'll move on to sewing it. And I can just show you one quick step. I watched an old video yeah. and, um, of sewing stretch, and I kept saying, loosen the tension... But then I was actually tightening the tension. Really? But I keep saying loosen. And I thought, oh, I didn't pick up on that. And no one's commented on it. That's so crazy. Everyone just assumes you know what you're doing all the time. Well, I do. Well, They're like, oh, we can see Abby's doing the wrong thing, but it's probably <laughs> right. <laughs> just, yeah, it's like when we're driving and I say, go left, go right. Or you tell me, right, turn right, mum. But she's actually got to point right. Yeah, because mum doesn't know her left and right. Yes. <gasps> you got the Robin Fat Quarters from Aldi. I didn't know what to make until I watched you and make a bag and thought it would be the bag and have it for a bag for life we're going to the supermarket yes all right we've got another yes <laughs> right should we do it then yeah, so I'm going, if i click onto this hopefully that will move you over to watch it there you go now can you hear me can they hear me do you think so this is me I'd l- oh they what? can hear you here yeah now well um what do we miss do you did you record vo- uh, sound? I didn't record sound. Oh, good. So you just can talk. Yeah. So I can talk and tell you what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. Hi, everyone. Do you want to, do you want to stay here and me talk to you about it? <laughs> you can do. <laughs> well, what's happening here is I'm actually just straightening off the end of the fabric. So I've just rolled. I don't know why I've not videoed that. I've just rolled some tissue paper over that um, fabric, which I folded over. So it's scuba. Um, <laughs> you learned <it. laughs> It's true. So I've I've straightened it out. So I've drawn a straight line across. Now I'm finding the centre point. So I've taken measurements of myself. My hips are forty. Now, if you do a, a sum, forty times four point five. Uh, four um forty times <laughs> four point five divide no there. Yeah. 40 times 4 divided by 5.5. I'll put the uh, calculation in the description. That will give you a figure. My figure came up to 30. So that's the width of the fabric I need for my hips. And that fabric is 60 wide. So I can fold it in half now. You can see that's the crotch line. That's the hip line I'm drawing. And that's going to go all the way across the whole width of my folded fabric. So you can see I've drawn the rise. So the distance between that waistline at the top and that crotch line is actually the rise. So the rise 
is, you know when you sit down um, and you measure from your waist or wherever you want your waistband to be and you measure it to where the seat meets your seat. <laughs> and mine comes up to about 11, so I'm quite long. Um, I think most people tend to be around 9 or 10. Um, but if you buy clothes, sometimes they come down, they're as low as eight. So I tend to find that clothes can be, you know, have a small rise for me and they end up sitting quite low on my waist. So this this is an advantage sewing your own clothes, isn't it? You get a better fit for yourself. And if you, you know, if you've got chunky hips like me, <laughs> if you've got chunky hips, you, um, you can take a, that into account as well because that rise will be a little bit different, um, taking into account that little comfy patch that you've got. Okay, so I'm measuring the waist, marking the waist. So my waist came up as 34, and I've added an extra four inch. So that's that square that's going down. So that's taking it all the way down. So I've got 17 on one side, 17 on the other. You can see my scruffy hair. But I'll change that in a minute. Anyway, um, I actually move it over slightly for the crotch line. So we've got uh, our lines there. Can you actually see this? Does this need to be bigger? I don't know if it needs to be bigger. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on. So I'm measuring the waistline there. And I go down. So you, it's your half of your waist plus your comfort um, and your comfort allowance. Um, don't be stingy with that because this is stretch fabric. I've I've not added as much as I would for woven. I'm just grabbing my piece of paper. Whoops. So um, I added four inches for comfort. Um, so even though waist was 34, I added four inches and divided that by two. That gave me 19 inches plus the seam allowance. My seam allowance is only a quarter of an inch. Now you can see there, this is um, where I had, I've already moved it over by two inches. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing. So there we go. So I've drawn a curve there, which you can see. And then... I'll do it on that side as well. I need to bring that down. So all I'm doing now, oops, sorry about this. Um, is I'm just making it curvier. I'm rubbish at curves. I don't know how many curves I've made in, in the past. I, I'm terrible with it. So the, your behind needs a little bit more space because <laughs> it's a lot more uh, curvier than your front so um, I've just curved it up a little bit and straighten it off a little bit there and you've got yourself a nice curve can you see that so we're happy with that okay let's fit everything back on the screen so you can see what we're doing so now we're going to measure the leg length I'm fairly tall, I would say. So I, I'm measuring my length about uh, 42 inches. So I'm going to add one and a half inch um, for hem. So I'm going to do a blind hem. And there we go. Now in the original video that I did, I actually gave myself five inches for the waistband. I don't know why I chose five inches. You only need two inches. <laughs> I think um, in those days I was a little bit shy. I am still a bit shy doing these videos. I think women tend to suffer with uh, what's known as imposter syndrome, don't we? So we don't think we're good enough. We don't believe in ourselves. We know what we're doing and we, we, we do it all the time. I've been making these trousers for decades. I, can't, I don't just say years, but decades. And I made them for my husband and made them for the kids when they were little, when they're bigger. You know, they'll come in last winter and they'll say, oh, it's freezing. I haven't, my 
trousers are in the wash. Now, look at this mean machine. This is the electric cutter that I've had for a while and I've been terrified of using it. And I spoke to the shop, a shop that, uh, that sell it. Well, actually, Juki sell it. They had it on their stand and I said to them, and they said, oh, just get on with it. <laughs> so I thought I did. So I am. And honestly, after you go rock climbing, don't cut that, after you go rock climbing, your hands and your fingers are absolutely messed up. As in, you know, the scraping, because you're scraping and using a lot of chalk, so your hands get very dry. Um, it's worse than gardening. So these electric scissors are brilliant. Do you know what I've forgotten to do? I've forgotten to do the hem. My trousers, um, leg width. So if I go all the way back down, mark that center. It does cut like but butter. <laughs> Are you making fun of my accent, Teresa? <laughs> butter. My mother-in-law used to make fun of my accent. Oh, Christine, I think what you have to do is you just have to just be confident and go for it. Now, this is where I didn't make a good decision. I really, I wanted... Um, the full width of my hem to be 10 inches so that the whole diameter ended up being 20 inches. But daft old me, I only did 10 inches and that's fine. So the width is going to be 10 inches. The whole uh, circumference is 10 inches. So if you want them wider, go wider. You feel you have to keep up with the speed of the motor. Christine, that's what I was doing the first time. And this time I just went slow and I felt like um, the poor scissors. <laughs> so I wasn't going fast enough for them, but I didn't care. So even though those hem, the hem looks fine. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. So even though the hem looks great over there, actually, um, it is actually quite narrow. What I'm pointing out at the top of the waistband was just that at the back, you'd want to have a lift up a little bit. I am in Manchester, Jamila. <laughs> I am. Um, at the back, you want it a little bit higher. Um, but because it's a waistband and the pyjama bottoms, and I just want you to get on with sewing, don't worry about it. Don't, uh, don't get too caught up in too many details. I think... Um, people forget to enjoy sewing, that they get caught up in too many details and um, f forget to enjoy. Um, all we've got to do now is just cut the curves for our front centre front and our centre back. So we need some weight so my paper doesn't move. And that, um, Teresa will recognise. I've forgotten what it's called again. Are you in Chadderton? One of my best friends was from Chadderton. Stuart. Stuart Watson. I was talking about him the other day. He's going to appear one day. I've not seen him in decades. I've not seen him for about 15, 20 years. So we're going to go down. I went to college with him. It's a nice place, Chadderton. Is it? Is it a nice place, Jamila? Um, there we go. Can you see that sharp... Um, cut how sharp it is it shouldn't be so um angled it should be a less of an angle but i've given myself um very tapered trousers there but it'll be fine because these are so comfortable because it's scuba it's comfortable to wear um oh you're from chatterton where, where, where oh you're in sheffield i went to sheffield university it's a good place lovely beautiful in fact beautiful place like Rome, built on seven, built on seven hills. And there we go. Da da. And that's what I'm going to cut out now. So if I just pull that, I don't know why I flipped it over. I flipped it over and I thought I didn't need to do that. So now I have to think. Thinking hat. We'll sew the centre front. We'll sew the centre back. Um, together, and then we'll sew the inside legs there we go Sheffield's beautiful right how do I do this again I think I think that's it what did you think was that all right was that easy did you think that was easy enough um 
I don't know which camera she set up for us to see the machine, but I think it was that one actually. Yes, those are so easy, those trousers. Honestly, um, the kids come in and they'll say to me, it takes um, 10 minutes to sew. Uh, they'll come in and, you, you know, in 10 minutes. Christine Ardwick. I was down the road in Longside. I know Ardwick really well. <laughs> it's so funny. So, yes, definitely have a go at these. These are going to be a great Christmas present. You know, people make Christmas Eve boxes. Um, which camera am I? I don't even know which camera I'm on. This is awful, isn't it? I think I'm... Yes. So, um, people make Christmas Eve boxes for themselves and they all buy pyjamas sets for everybody in your family. So, with this pattern now, you can make them for everybody. And, you know, this year, if you're in the UK... Um, I, and I think anywhere, really, I think the economy is going to pop and people are really, really struggling. The price of heating's going up. In the past, we've had trouble with heat or eat. Now, this year, it's heat nor eat for a lot of people, which is really awful. So if you're thinking about making this, go down to the market. This cost me, honestly, I love it. I love supporting uh, local businesses. I love supporting small businesses. I don't like these big shops where they're buying fabric all the time um and it's just it's just become too uh sewing is is supposed to be about saving money but people say it's not saving money because they, they're going to the wrong places to buy things like x machines let's not talk about the machines <laughs> and personalize them or what's the snn scan and cut scan and cut or your cricket Snap Longsight, you went, no, I grew up in Longsight, I, that's my home, Longsight Market, I lived right across the road, was Eb my first live, I'm not up for Charles making Santa, oh, you are, oh my word, let me tell you something, if you think you can't make these, then I am going to be so upset for you, because these are the easiest things in the world, when we were making scrubs, you know, the uh, I've started watching The Good Doctor and the, we're on series three. We're binge watching it. So we're on series three and it's going right back down all for, uh, to where COVID happened. You know, that first week where people coming in with coughs and colds and suddenly, you know, they're going on to ventilators and dying. Oh, I'm crying watching this because I remember so vividly how it happened. I had all sorts of people come into my door because I was the hub. I created a Facebook page and I was the hub for over a thousand people. It was amazing. I was meeting so many talented people and so many people who had no confidence and they really liked me, wanted to do something. And I said, if you can sew a straight line, you can sew anything and you need to believe in yourself and you can. Um, Dickinson Road Market, is that what you call it? <laughs> Longside Market, what is that? Dickinson Road Home. Um, yeah, go slow with those scissors, it will be fine, it will be fine. Oh my goodness, this is why I love being on here, because everybody's so local, apart from Teresa, but Teresa, you're just gorgeous anyway. Um, you're all gorgeous. Um, let's see, if I go to that one, can you see, if I switch that off, is that better? That's better, isn't it? It's going to cut. Let me move that, because sometimes we get too many. Right, so here's, here's a trouser. Du, du, du. It is home. Long sight is home. Love it. <laughs> I should do this under the overhead camera. Shall I move over there? I should have thought about this. Um, Shropshire. What's in Shropshire? Where's Shropshire? Zeb, you can do this. You can, really. Honestly, I had, oh, there was this gorgeous young lad, Paul, um, and he came along and he said to me, um, I've been, to, what, what happened is because it was illegal for anybody to be caught out driving. I And people, you're only allowed to drive under necessary conditions, but I was so concerned about people interacting. I said to people, just stay 
at home and we had 11 coordinators. That's how massive our group grew. So 11 people volunteered from their little areas and they were using me as a hub. Took fabric from me. So I had companies dropping fabric off. I mean, by oh, 10 rolls at a time, 20 rolls at a time, I had delivered uh, 50 boxes of bed sheets from a company who you know, had them in storage and gave us all sorts. Oh, <gasps> Jalibi. He's, he's our, oh, do you know what? If you tell Jalibi that you, yeah, that you know us, he knows us. <laughs> he knows us. It's so sad. Uh, yeah. Oh, tech. <laughs> oh, um, you can, I don't know how to tag us. I don't know. Uh, I don't have Facebook, so never I saw this. Um, no, I don't have Facebook. I do have Facebook, but I I accidentally got rid of Abby's den, um, at the time. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if it was worth bringing back. What I should do, right? So this is my scrap. So let me show you what to do. You really only need to do a couple of things. Okay. If you've got your overlocker, yes, this is fancy singing, dancing overlocker, and I absolutely love it, and, I, and pff, I'm not going to swap it for the world. I made these on the Singer overlocker that I bought from Aldi, and it cost me £120. Absolutely love it. I've told you to people, I said, this is not going to replace my Singer. I'm sorry, it's just not. Um, I love these machines so much. This machine uh, is just kick-ass. I'm sorry, <laughs> bad language. <laughs> it just is an amazing machine. I just flick a button and I'm rolling hems. Um, but you know what? Yeah, um, everyone can do it. I never finished that story about Paul. Um, so we had all these coordinators come in and then after about uh, two or three weeks of um, everything sort of died down, I got to meet more people and Paul made his way over to drop something off. Um, and as a thank you, I to give me some blue bees fabric um, just because he'd got in sewing and he just felt he wanted to give something to me anyway. Um, and he said he's just been making bags, square bags to put the washing in. Um, and I said, well, if you can make those bags, you can make those trousers because at the end of the day, it's just straight lines to make the um, bags as it is for the trousers and the casing at the top for the elastic for the trousers. So that's it. Oh, do you like it when I get salty? <laughs> Pete doesn't. <laughs> Your overlock is 20 years. Oh, well, my, my original one's 25 years old. It's a Janome. Which one have you got? Um, let me take this over to the overhead camera. But because I've lost Jasmine, she's ignoring me. Right, let me just show you what you do. So this machine, even though it's got the... Um, uh, tension, uh, this is an automatic tension machine, automatic tension machine. You literally put organza in there and it just flips it to denim, but there there are situations and times where you do need to alter tension and you'll find that with baby lock as well. Uh, costumers who use such a variety of fabric, they are going to want to feel that they can control their machine better. So um, I've got a scrap fabric here literally ballpoint needles or stretch needles this is scuba um from my lock oh, yeah see same machine <laughs> my lock do you know me it does it lasted forever i love it um all you need to do is tighten not loosen as in that was a video i really need to update these so i tighten the upper looper that's it Make sure you've got the right needles and always make sure you're using the right needles. This is quite a heavy weight fabric for stretch fabric. So, and it's, uh, is it a four way stretch? No, just two way stretch. So it stre stretches that way. Wow, Yolanda, that's amazing. Incredible, really. So this is stretches one way. So we want to maintain that stretch. Now, just remember something. So we want to have an overlock that doesn't pop the seams so let me bring it back to the four so the top looper is at four you can't really see this so i'll just make you feel a bit queasy for a minute oh no it won't let me do it um it's not letting me do it let me see if i can get my phone camera and do it with that
getting I'm getting better with the tech. Right. Okay, so phone camera. So you can see there I've got all the settings at factory settings. Okay. So I've got quite a long stitch set. So I've got I'm on four and I'm keeping the differential feed on neutral. So that would just be one. Uh, if you've got the singer or you know the old V Necky or the Janome, just stick with what you've got. And I'm but I'm gonna increase the stitch length. Okay. Um and then we're gonna go back to because excuse me, I don't want to make you all crazy. So I'm I know I've got a um planning. Planning is always good, you should plan. Um it's back to front. Yes, it is. Is it back to front now? Is the machine back to front to you? Let me see. Um because that's no good, is it? You don't want it back to front. Right, let's see if I can. Transform. Wait. How is that? Does that look no? Does that look? You haven't, Jamila. <laughs> is that better? Does that work now? Just hopefully that's working now. Right, we're just going to go with it, assuming that's working now. So, yes, thank you. Thank you. You guys are so helpful. Um, so, that was okay, wasn't it? You could see all the settings on that were okay. So everything's four on that. Hi, Myra. Um, so, brilliant, okay. It's working, brilliant. Okay, so here's, I don't want to accidentally sew, sew the wrong thing. So that's a trouser leg. So you only end up with two pieces of fabric, really, and that's brilliant, that's what you want. So we're going to sew a little piece. Let's just sew. Do, do, do. Where's my pedal? Can you see that? Oh. Okay. So what happens if, if I pull that now? Did you hear that? Rubbish. And that's rubbish. As soon as we get into bed or we, you know, start getting dressed, it's going to pop. We're going to have holes in our garments. Look at the state of that overlocking now where all the seams have popped. So what we need to do is just change the settings a little bit. Let's use that same piece because it's nice and big. And I'm going to increase the uh, tension on that looper so I'll swap the camera again sorry it's queasy it moves around so can you see I've just increased that one there so that's the upper looper so there's a picture of it that's the upper looper that's the lower looper because that goes down that sort of swings down whereas that one swings up like that oh did you <laughs> um Uh, <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to just try that now. It's not going to work now. Okay, and then stretch. Da -da. <laughs> so we've got the stretch, no popping. So there we go. All right, so that's what we want to do. We want to set that up. If I, da, 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 can we go to the overhead camera? There's that Christmas fabric. But what I want to do really is, I'm just gonna do, do you like this fabric? Oh, do you like that one? That's, that's going to be used to make a set of pajamas as well. They're quite a silky, stretchy fabric. Again, Dickinson Road Market. I think if you can support your local markets, 
I think I like supporting them because not only, uh, I mean, they looked after my mum. I had seven, I have six sisters, four brothers, and my mum was always dressing up and she supported the market big time. You know, she used to buy the curtain fabric from the John Lewis or wherever, but then she would go to the market to buy all sorts of lovely, pretty fabrics for us to wear everyday wear because she was just really into it. Um, look at the size of this extension table. I've not that's how little I've done with this machine today because I've been so busy, which is why I thought I should save the sewing for the lives. Place that on there. I don't think you can see this bit. Oh my god, I love this machine. Okay, so here's let me see, I can't see what I can see. Let's see what you can see. That's my cup of tea from before. My glasses that I'll need later. And this beast of an instruction manual. Leave that there so I won't lose it. Okay, so it's good sides together. Now, you can see there I have a bigger curve. That's for your bottom, okay? And that's the front. Now, I often see people cutting out fabric with all four seams like that. That's not going to help anybody. That's gonna be the most uncomfortable garment ever. Okay, so what I did in the video, just to reiterate what I did, that uh, machine really is in the way, isn't it? So I see people cutting all four, the centre back and the centre front, so shallow. Now that's okay if you haven't got a bum. I have a bum and it's a very curvy one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But most of us do. We all have a seat. Okay. So what I did in the video, grab a ruler that you might be able to. Okay, I've just dropped my clock. So where I found the centre of um, the waistband, and that was the hip line, I just shoved over that way a little bit by about two inches. That two inches was quite generous, so maybe not so much. Um, maybe just only go over an inch. So that's your waistband in half, plus your seam allowances and your ease. So be generous. If this was flannel, for example, if you want to make it out of cosy flannel, then add eight inches. Make it even more comfy for you. Then the waistband is coming down for the elastic. Do, do, do. <laughs> Sorry. So you've got your waistband now for your elastic. And that's your rise. So this point here now to here, which is there, that's the rise. So when you sit down, measure the point from the top of your waistband to where your seat sits on the seat of the chair. Measure that, and that's roughly, for me, that's 11 inches, let's see. That works out about 11 inches, okay. And then all I did was shift it over a little bit, about an inch and a half, maybe two. Depends on how curvy you are. You know, um, some people have a much rounder, peachier bum than I do, maybe. <laughs> um, it's very rude. But you need more comfort space. Let's be honest, you need, you need more comfort space. And then you can make some alterations here and there, make it wider, make more ease for yourself. Um, and it, it just keep it very, very simple. They're called lounge pants because you just lounge around in them. You're not going on a formal meeting. And the way clothes are made nowadays is just funny. My kids spend money on clothes that they buy. This needs to be a bit straighter, to be honest. Let me give you another tip. Because I did this sort of, um, what, did, what I was heading out very, very quickly and thought about, do you know what, before I go out, where was I going? Mm, oh, down to the mill, 
Yeah, it was going down to the mill. So I wanted to do that before I went to the mill. So let me give you a tip. When you sew, let me get another ruler. <laughs> you see how many rulers does a person need? Um, let's see if this colour stands out. When, you're, when you cut, what you want to do really is you want to be going at right angles. So that's quite square. And you want that to be quite square as well. Okay. So just make sure you've got them square and that will make it easier. Now I can see you guys are chatting and uh, typing things. Um, so but I can't see what you say. Oh, for goodness sakes, I'm dropping things left, right and centre. Um, what's that? you got a full instruction on how to download a P Oh, yes. Go for comfort, not speed like me. I don't want to use a measure. I use the Desi method. My hand span twice the length. <laughs> oh, hi, Sherlock. So, lovely to have you. So, yes, yeah, so what we're going to do then is we're just going to sew along here. And you know I'm not a pin person. So, keep your pins way off center. Sorry, I'm leaning right over. And I keep the pins way away from that middle bit. Okay. I'm just doing this just to show you what's going to happen. Okay. Let's put one more pin there. Okay. Once we've sewn the centre front and the centre back, so that's our centre back and that's our centre front. And if you do it on a woven fabric, you could make a mock fly because that's quite uh, a nice thing to add. And then that's your leg going down there. So it's quite wide at the top and it tapers quite narrow. I'm trying to make sure I get that in. So there we go. Because I've pinned it quite wide in, it feel it feels like it's not, you know, what it's not gonna I'm not gonna get in there. And I won't. <laughs> I'm only going to sew a quarter of an, an inch, aren't I? So that's going to be that. That's going to be then the trousers. So if you can sew a straight line, or if you can overlock a straight line, you've just made yourself a pair of trousers. That's it. Literally easy as that. If you can't be bothered to hem that. If you don't want to hem it, just overlock it and finish it as an overlocked finish. But a blind hem is easy. Now, because I've done this so narrow, um, it might be tricky to do, so I might overlock it and then, or might sew it on a sewing machine, actually. I have one or two sewing machines lying around. And then the waistband, I would just put the elastic in I would do the waistband, sew the elastic in, and then just top stitch it closed like that. And that's how I'll make them, so it doesn't take long. So shall I stitch that? Yeah, let's go and stitch that. Have a sip of tea. So, <laughs> what do you think? These would make great under trousers if you make them slightly tighter. Yeah. Um, the smart fit, I am. Uh, my husband has asked me uh, how many rulers, sewing machines or SLRs and lenses does one woman need? As many as it takes. That's the answer really. Um, the smart feed, I definitely, will definitely use the smart feed. Um, Jamila's idea is use these under trousers. Yes, I mean, uh, to be honest with you, I was thinking about making them to go climbing. Um, and I thought, if my son is embarrassed of him, I'm not going. Because he and I, that's our Thursday um, Thursday treat, he and I go climbing. But he, uh, we went today instead. We were, he had, I don't know, he booked his hair cut yesterday. <laughs> How long is a piece of drink? 
Um, yes. How many saws does a man need? Oh. Does it work for ordinary trousers not using a side seam? Sorry, Christine, just explain that one again. Do, do you mean not stretchy? If you don't want to use a stretch fabric, then I would um, add more ease, that's all. Um, and if you don't want that side seam, yeah, you don't have to use a side seam. I've, I've gone into um, places. Now, typically Marks and Spencers or, uh, you know, I'm middle of the road shops. I, if I do buy clothes, then I might buy from Marks and Spencers or Next. I don't tend to go um, anywhere posh. I don't buy designer clothes because I don't, I just think it's an opulence I don't really want. I, ha I already have my indulgence going on here. <laughs> um, it's not a big bomb, it's just uh, curvy. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Um, so, um, yeah, I've seen trousers being made without a, uh, um, you know, split seam. But, I mean, those are more tailored. I mean, somebody listed tailored trousers somewhere um, and it didn't, it just had the inside seam. It didn't have a side seam. And tailored to me means it's got a lot more seams to it. It's got a fly to it. It's got all sorts of things. If I do that, you can't really see, can you? Um, a complete novice, I do not have an overlocker. Yes, sewing machine's perfect. You don't need, I, I'm going to say it, you don't need to have an overlocker. You know, your single tradition will do what you need to do. I did a video using the single tradition to sew stretch because I do feel that, you know, if you're like me, you sew a lot or you have spent your whole life and I have and 50, your whole life sewing a lot, then, you know, and that's where I choose to indulge my savings and that's what you do, you know, everybody has a different, you know, people say, how many machines have you got? And I'll say, well, you know, you're sitting in a nice Tesla. I don't drive a Tesla. <laughs> um, most patterns do have a side seam. They do, they do. But, you know, if you go and have a look at uh, lounge pants, uh, you can buy a lot of easy, easy to sew um, patterns without... No, that's that's my centre front, I think. Um, let me show you something, Christine. Because I did um, panic a little bit. Can you see how that's not a perfect curve? And I did like a hiccup thing going on there. It It's not a big deal. I just... I'm a coward. <laughs> she says. Right, let's go for it. Are we locking our stitches in? Should we do that? So lift up the needles out of the way. I'm going to sew as if I'm going to sew upside down. So I'm going to come back and then flip it over and then carry on sewing. Oh, the necking machines are lovely. I've just gone and put the other one away. Right, so I'm going in under the needles. Da -da -da. And then we just flip that over. You could really do with um, the overhead camera being here, really, couldn't we? And then I've locked those stitches in. Can you see? So I've locked stitches in. How can I set this up so you can see? This is where I need jazz. I have a camera tripod somewhere, but I don't know where. She says. She did have one handy. Um. I think tailored as made as adjusted altered to measured, yeah. Over edge foot works quite well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You don't always need to use your overlocker. When I'm feeling, oh, can't be bothered to get the overlocker out, I'll just overcast on the sewing machine. I just want to remind you all, I don't, I'm not paid by anybody to say, I love this machine. Nobody you know, is making me say that it, I have a favourite. I just do. And then when you've got, you're sewing a curve, you just sort of level it off. You really could do with a camera here. I just think for those of you who are struggling to feel com comfortable sewing, um, let me see if I can do this. One trick. So you're just looking at an empty 
screen at the moment. Let's have a look. Putting a tripod on my table. Right, so let's have a look. Do, do, do. How's that? Can you see? You might be able to see now. There we go. So what I'm doing there is um, so that's that's the curve of the centre front. And what we'll do is we'll just straighten it up with the overlocker. There's not much you can do. Actually, there is a curved foot that comes with this machine, um, which is really good. The di what it does is it's just this. Well, it doesn't do anything. It's just a smaller foot, so it's actually just shorter. Um, the caboodle is over there. Actually, I took the caboodle upstairs earlier just to get it out of the way. Um, so we're just going along a straight line. Go on a straight line, and then to lock your stitches. You can just flip that round, okay, put the press foot down and you can actually disengage the knife if you want to, which I can do there, and then just go over those last few stitches and lock that. Okay, so we're now locked in, we've just got to find where you are. So you can see that they're locked in a little bit. That's a little bit better, that one. So you can see. Uh, <laughs> Teresa, we've done this for a couple of years. Um, I, should, <laughs> I should be getting this a little bit right by now. I'm awful. I'm terrible, aren't I? So, now, if you find, which I didn't even think about, if you find you can see the stitches, which you can do a little bit, you can actually just tighten your needle. Let's let's do this. You can tighten your needle um, tension. Okay, and that's fine. Now somebody was saying, don't tighten your needle tension because it ruins your stitching, and actually, no, it doesn't. So. Um, I'm being salty again, aren't I? <laughs> um, we're always learning, Christine. Always learning. There's, technology changes and advances so much and so quickly, especially working in a museum. I get to see and get to understand exactly how quickly um, things are made and progress. I'm not going to lock the stitches this time. Uh, why? Because I just didn't. Um, I mean, I have, I could, couldn't I? I mean, this is going to be hidden in the waistband anyway. Let's get that knife back up. I want the knife back up. Straighten, straighten everything up. I'm not stretching, I'm not pulling, I'm just um, holding. And guiding. There we go. Right. Trying to find the optimum position. What did I do? I pressed something I shouldn't have done. There we go. Right, so there we go. That's the waistband done. How cool is that? We can trim that. Scissors in my drawer. I've got my duck build scissors to do this job. Perfect for this job. That's um if you do applique, which we will be doing actually, I will be doing some applique. Um these scissors come in handy. Have you ever used them? I'll show you. When we, when we get to it, okay. Elastic will go in there. A str yeah. Well, I've taught people who have never seen anything other than used any other stitch on their 
They have all singing, all dancing, whistles and bells, sewing machines, and they don't do anything. Now, what you could do, this is another tip, which I haven't done myself. If you um, finish overlocking on the end here, so this is the crotch point, so the centre uh, middle. Now, you could add a gusset, so a diamond-shaped gusset there, if you wanted to. So that when you decide to use them for under, you know, well, undergarments really, I would add a diamond shaped gusset there. So sort of maybe, depends on how big you are. Does that sound rude? I don't mean to be rude. I don't want to sound like I'm being rude, but maybe two or three inches. If you need a little bit bigger or smaller, go for it. But you can add something there just to be more comfortable so that you don't get... Um, problems with um, discomfort with them being uncomfortable so I'm going to just hold that together and I'm going to then so I'm going to just pin that the tip was leave the threads longer and you could tie them two together so the overlocking from that one to that one just tie them um, grading seams yes that's a good idea so, sometimes a hint has to be dragging him over to a computer and showing me has his wallet and bring it up. <laughs> right. Yeah. Let's go for it. Now, I've got, I've got to remind you, uh, um, there's a couple of things I'm doing um, with the Juki overlocker and I've got an Aliso iron. In fact, I've got two Aliso irons. Let me tell you more in a minute. get to this point in the middle. I'm going to love these trousers. Now, I wouldn't normally put a pin in there. I have just for you guys. Just lift that up. Now, the other thing this machine has is a tractor foot, so I wouldn't have had to lift that foot up over the, the double seam. It would have just uh, gone over it, and it does. Phenomenal. But it's like anything. You're in the middle of sewing, you've got to change your feet a few times before you get the job done. Let's just move that back over. This is real-time sewing, not sped up. the world of Instagram is perfect isn't it how will I do the hem oh. I have a needle thread on, on this overlocker. Okay, so hem, blind hem, fold it over like this. And we're going to, I love Instagram, it's full of ideas, but sometimes I find it overwhelming because it has so many um, perfect posts on there that uh, you forget that um, it doesn't matter that you don't have to be perfect. Measure your hem. Now, I allowed an inch and a half, didn't I? So what we do is we um, fold our fabric up like that to where the hem is. As you can see, I've measured that accurately. Okay, we're going to put the pins very close to the hem fold. Okay. And this is... Um, 
funny because my pins are colourful on this colourful fabric. Okay, so we've got the hem, all right, and then what we do is we fold this in like this, and then we have a bit of a da, 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 a bit of a the edge of that hem poking out. Can you see that? Oh, I am sorry. Okay, so let me do that again. Um, where, where's the best place? Stand there. Okay, so I have measured, not really, because I didn't. I haven't got a ruler handy. Oh, I have got a ruler handy. Look at this. Ooh, ah. I've got, <laughs> I've got my extension table. Okay. So these pins... Um, I've put them right on the edge of my fold. So you've measured your hem, okay? You have it all the same, all the way around. Can you see how beautifully that's done? Measured. Okay, let's measure that again. You fold, you place the pin. I'm trying to make sure I stay in camera. Place the pins right on the fold. Are, pit, are there pins to get and pins to avoid? Um, I really like, I've come across, right, so these you recognise, you see these all over the place, but it's actually a brand, uh, Tulip. Now, they cost quite a lot of money, but they're bendy, they're sharp, and they uh, are lightweight, and they're so nice to work with. I love them. Um... I like these ones, but these came from Ikea. <laughs> Who don't do them anymore? Prim do a set like that with these handles, uh, these holders, and they're purple, and they're not very good. Um, John James are good, but I don't... I just... I don't think you should buy cheap ones. I don't think you should go for cheap pins. You know when you get them in that, that flowery circle... Uh, which we'll probably get in our hemline calendar. Whoops. <laughs> I shouldn't say it, should I? Um, I think it was worth... I see you using Ikea ones. I have them. And, yeah, they are amazing, aren't they? They're really, really lovely. Because they stopped doing them years ago. And they've lasted me years. But Prim have them in purple. Where are they? I have got them somewhere. And I thought they'd be as good, and they're not. They're just not. I haven't got them handy. There's a company called Bohan. Um, they have really long quilting pins, which are really good, but they're not going to be any use in a stretch like that. Let me do one hem. Once I've got that blind hem done, basically what we're doing is the same on the waistband. Um and on the other hem. So what we do is we flip that over like that. So can you see that? What I did, do you want me to repeat that? So we've got our fold, we flip that over, we expose the edge of that fabric, and we're going to carefully place that underneath. Uh, she's using two hands there. Needles are out of the way, so let's just shimmy that under. Stretch that under. Da, da, da. Let's pop that in and just go slow. So um, you can disengage the knife. So the knife is not in action. You, know, you can keep the knife on and trim, um, trim out of the way. But And with those pins being right on the fold, they're tucked right under, aren't they? So keep careful how you fold that fabric. And then, do you know what I should have done? I should have snipped right there where that fold is. Let's get my scissors. Snip that there so that I've got the seam going that way and the seam going that way. So the sort of going opposite direction. So the bulk isn't, it's not as bulky. <laughs> So 
um, I hope you can see this because I'm sort of watching what I'm doing rather than watching what you can see me doing. So fold that over again, keep it all nice and level. Keep it all nice and level. Try and keep a straight line. And I'm not going to worry about it. Practice, practice, practice. Practice on straight lines, practice. Um, I'm going to put the, um, no, I'm going to leave the knife off actually. And the safety feature on this is it won't work. Uh, the machine doesn't sew if the presser foot's up. <laughs> Some machines have the, the lever here. Um, oh, are they, Yolanda? I don't know. They, they're meant to be heat proof. Let's take those, let's do this in front of the camera so you can see. So let's remove those pins and then there you go. So you've ended up with your overlock and then let's pull it out the right way around so you can see. So you can see how tight these are. I'm gonna try that. I, I don't know, they might be. I've got a packet of them upstairs. Oh, you don't even want to know. <laughs> you still want, want to know. So the seam matches up. We've got our hem. You should measure it. Look how uneven that is. Awful, 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 awful. Measure. <laughs> um, and I think you do, when you eyeball things, you do tend to um, realise how wide things are. So if you want to add elastic in there, just leave a little bit of it open. So the same way with the waistband. Just do that again. So... Um, measure measure how far you need to go so it's two inches isn't it so i would do one and three quarters snip along there so that your folds are not on the same side and they're not bulking because that's going, going to be uncomfortable for you when you're you know wearing these in bed for for example so you want them to be opposite direction um, and then do the the hem you can if you want to uh, just go along it with the elastic in there, but that will take a trick to do. So, you you know, feel very comfortable doing that trick. And you can do it with the elastic in there. But um, there you go. So that's one of the blind hems. So that just repeat that on all three. Um, how was that? Was that okay? Um, yeah. They look like the ones I use pressing seams. Oh, right. It's like a cat race track in here. They both have woken up and run up and down the house. And <laughs> oh dear. Uh, we have four cats and it's too many. Too many. Um, okay, so let um, I think that's it for today. Now, um, with the giveaways, we will do some giveaways later. Um, I have confirmed a couple of ideas. Um, so Aliso, Aliso, you know that yellow iron I have, uh, it's gorgeous, it's very, very clever, smart iron. I have one for the UK, uh, by a UK company, and I have one for America and Canada to give away. So uh, that will come on later in the month, so we'll find out what we're going to do with that. And we have, of course, a Juki sewing machine. And I'm still coming up with an idea for a prize for the fastest overlocker threader upper, threader upper. So keep practicing with your overlockers because I am going to find somebody who can beat Gary at his, um, Gary at his three and a half, three minutes and 40 seconds. Um, again, I haven't tried it. I think I can beat that. He thinks he can beat it. I've not seen him do it. Um, <clears throat> oh, you're after it, Teresa. Um, so let's see what we're going to do there. Um, what I'm doing with... Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're all very kind. I will be putting all these live videos over onto 
uh, the members only to view because I think what I'm going to do is make some other videos for all the little gadgets and tutorials um, to go on the mainstream. And if you're a member of Abby's Den YouTube channel, you are going to be able to watch all the live shows again. But as for the lives, I'll keep them on for the evening so others can catch up. But there is, I'm going to announce it now. I might as well say it. There is a little clue in each not in every video, but in a video in the videos, um, and it will all come together in the end. <laughs> it's a bit ominous that. Anyway, doesn't matter. Have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for joining us. I really enjoyed tonight's chat. I'm going to just throw this on for a minute because I've been told to. Oh, <laughs> wrong camera. <laughs> um, I promised the guys that I will put those on. Please support us. It really does make a difference. It really does help me indulge. And if you feel like you've learned something today, um, we, we don't charge for lessons. We just say, treat us to a coffee. Coffee and a cake, <laughs> if you fancy. That's not entirely uh, on you to do. Um, because we know things are tough, times are tough. Go and see us on the coffee website if you can. Otherwise, like, subscribe, definitely comment because I love reading the comments. And I will see you all tomorrow evening. And we will sew that Christmas fabric. So if you've got something nice um, or if you've got some ideas, got some ideas of things you want me to sew, I really want to make some Christmas gifts. I'm going to be making pajamas for lots of people. These, honestly, how long does it take? 20 minutes max um, to make these. And they're so comfy. Um, I'm going to make a pink set of pajamas for myself. So I'm going to show you how to do the top as well. See you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>